everybody. It's Baron with One Chiropractic, and we're back with our second series on neurologically based chiropractic. And I thought <clears throat> there's really no better way to start out than with Dr. Barwell as we started out our first series. And and so I want to, you know, I'm going to talk with Doc today a little bit about kind of the success we had on that first series. I mean, I'm I'm still blown away with the the response we had, with the impact that it had on those viewing it. Um, and we're super excited to bring more people into the conversation on this series. Um, but from your perspective, I know, you know, I forwarded a number of emails to you of people that had commented from the, the series and just you watched the whole series yourself as well with the other uh, conversations that we had. So tell me from your perspective how you feel about that first series. I was just knocked out, absolutely knocked out. It's, it's finally getting the message out there that I've been working on for 20 years about, and you know, it's just picking them off one at a time. And boy, what a lesson this is about never give up. Never give up, you know, and if you keep your message out there and your message has got a truth to it that's going to stand the test of time, you have to be willing to sort of take the shots and, and hang in there because you're going to find somebody like Baron who comes along and goes like, I just heard you. And holy smokes, this thing applies to what we're working with here. And so I was, I was absolutely thrilled with it. I got all sorts of responses back out of it um, with, with people interested in what we're talking about and where it led. But what I really was excited about was some of the people that are now coming on. And I know there's more that are still wanting to go, not just part two, wanting to go part three, yeah. want to get on this and because they're saying this is a life changer. So, yeah, and that is the goal. Like we're we're going to be forcing this conversation as long as people are going to be willing to listen because it is so drastic. It, it it's it's just well, I don't want to use the word drastic because it's a simple concept, but it causes you to question and change, you know, your thoughts about why you're doing what you're doing, right? We said that in the first series. We're not really asking anyone to do much of anything different other than understand why they're doing it, which will change how and when and a lot of those factors but not what you know the adjustments the adjustment and whatever your technique is continue to do it and you love it but you're learning I'm doing it because it's not hard bone on soft nerve I'm doing it because of its impact to sensory input its impact to neuroplasticity in the brain its impact to stress response in the body I mean that's why the adjustment does what it does and so we're going to keep pushing this thing down and, and I'm really excited because you and I had a dream I don't know about four or five years ago of putting together an actual convention or a symposium on this, and that's happening now. So June 13th and 14th in Detroit, Michigan, uh, 2020, we're going to be there, and we're bringing a lot of the people that are part of these series are going to be there, and we're going to have a weekend to just really blow people's minds and then give them tangible things to go home on Monday and and make some some changes in their practice. So, yeah, we're really putting this thing together. I'm excited, and that, that's going to be an annual event. Um, we've already got commitment with – the Michigan Association of Chiropractors is teaming up with us to put that on. And uh, they do a class act event. And it's, it's just going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal reality. So I'm super excited about that event as well. That, that Michigan group is, is, has got a, an incredible reputation. And I want to tell you, they are extremely difficult to get into because they have such high standards with them. Yeah. And so for this to finally happen, this is a dream I've been chasing for like 10 years to try to, to get the Michigan Association to sort of pay attention to what's going on out here. And thanks to you and, and thanks to Tom Clapp, we, we, we've got it and we're moving forward with this. And it's going to be just absolutely a, a, super exciting. Yeah. Um, and that sort of brings us to uh, what's going on out there right now. Uh, and we know that we've got a serious issue going on out there. Um, we've got two serious issues. We've got the, uh, the virus issue going on. But worse than that, we've got the panic issue going on, which, is, you know, this is serious. But like my, my dear friend who has now passed away, the Navy SEAL, always used to say to me, whenever we get into a situation, mostly that he created, <laughs> you say it's the panic that kills you. Yeah, you know, and that's it's just so true. And that's the thing about the, these Navy SEAL guys: when the pressure comes on, when the issue comes up, you need to stand back, take some deep breaths, take a look what's going on, and do an assessment and stop that emotional reaction. Yeah, that emotional reaction, what it does to that central nervous system is fry it. And when you fry the central nervous system, guess what else? You fry the immune system. And now you're putting yourself in double jeopardy. And so uh, we really need to take a look at it. And while I'm on this, I'm going to broach this subject. 
I know that there's a letter going around to all the chiropractors and it's like wildfire um, about the Texas situation and the last, the 1918 flu and how chiropractic patients, I'd be very, very careful with that. Um, You know, don't make claims that you really can't support. Uh, We are working very hard as a profession to try to make sure our data is accurate and, and I'm not saying that chiropractic doesn't play a role in this. We just don't understand fully the role between that adjustment in the nervous system and, and the immune system. We, we have a pretty good idea. Sure. The proof needs to come in. And I know I've been talking with Heidi about it and, and some of the research direction that we can take to be able to demonstrate that chiropractic does this. But until we have that proof, do not be making claims that you can't support. Especially in a heightened awareness now, because I mean, we all know and we've experienced ourselves why our kids don't get sick as often, why we don't get sick as often. We know that there is a correlation between the ability to fight off disease and, and stay healthy and getting adjusted frequently. We know that, right? But in a heightened state like this, where people are literally believing this is going to be the death virus, it's going to end everyone, for our profession to come out with claims, well, just get adjusted and you're going to be fine. That, you know, you've got to be careful. And, and although there is some truth to that data from, from 1918 uh, or 1819, but it's, you know, that's speculative at best that that group of people didn't get it simply because of the adjustment. There are other factors at play. And so, so I agree with you. I, you know, really the conversation that needs to be out there is we know the body functions better when we have proper connection between the brain and body and our systems are operating the way they're supposed to operate and we're not in a sympathetic dominance. When the body is less stressed, we know it can better self-regulate and self-heal. And that's the conversation, not that we can, you know, fix the coronavirus. Boy, I, 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 we, this should be played in every chiropractic office right now. <laughs> that's, that's the bottom line right there because otherwise we're, we're going to put our whole, the whole profession in jeopardy. And I'm going to talk a bit about that in, in our next topic that we're going to cover on here, because that, that's something we need to consider about what happens with the profession with this type of, of claim. So it's just, totally agree. It's, a, it's an interesting time. Really. To say the least, to say the least, we're all sitting there scratching our heads. But, well, let's, <clears throat> let's kind of forecast what we're doing in this particular series, right? Because we're adding new people to the conversation. I'm very excited about that. Um, you know, you're going to share with us some more insight from your perspective on, on really how do we should be communicating this in our practices and, and really connecting those, further connecting those dots. Um, but we're bringing in some exciting people. You know what, we've got Patrick Porter from BrainTap and had a great conversation with him. Um, I can't wait to share that. We have Dr. Robert Melillo, who blew my mind. <laughs> and that guy is, he is a specimen. I tell you, he, he just blew my mind. So I loved that conversation. And I know you and he are, are old friends as well and shared multiple stages together. But man, he is definitely your New Yorker kind of chiropractic kind of intel. I mean, he just is doing some great stuff with brain balance and, and all of his fun stuff. Um, you know, we, I had a great conversation with Dr. Clint Steele. He has got a crazy story. Um, of just getting out of chiropractic, selling Kirby vacuum cleaners. And then the only thing that brought him back in was connecting to this neurologically based and knowing where the brain plays a role within chiropractic. And that was a fun story. And yeah, Dr. Monica Berger, she's a little spitfire. Love her. Um, have you had a, you've had a chance to, to speak with her, right? Do you know her very well? I do not know her very well. I've seen your stuff, but I, I'm, I, was, I think we're going to be talking together here in the you future. Are. You'll be at BrainTap <laughs> together. So, yep, you guys will be, you'll love her. She is a, she's a Heidi, a little bit more on steroids. She, as far as energy. Dear she, Lord. <laughs> yeah, I know. Can we handle such a thing? I hear you. But uh, she has a great way of bringing it down, definitely in the pediatric world and understanding where brain balance and how important it is at the early, early stages of life. Um, so yeah, we just got some great, and then, then we're going to be talking to Dr. Ted Corrin and, and talking from a, from a, a technique perspective, kind of how this plays a role. Um, and he's going to get to share some of his experiences. I know you've talked about him in our previous videos. So yeah, so we've got an action packed series. So please, if you're watching this, continue, join the series, like everything else, you'll get them every day. Um, and we want you to just continue to add information to this. And, and I do want to share with a lot of you, cause this was a request that came from a lot of people from the first series. So if you're a One Chiropractic contributor, um, we are developing material. So I recorded two videos, which Dr. Barwell, I haven't sent those to you yet. I need to send those to you so you can view them. Um, But I recorded two videos that are designed to be given to the patient 
early on into care, one on day one and another one on about day five, that helps explain why they're getting care and what that care is ultimately doing to their nervous system and their brain. So I, everyone kept saying, oh, Baron, you say it so well, and can you record that? So I, I did. I, I made a couple videos that are high quality to be played in the waiting room. I have a lot of guys that have an iPad. They just hand the iPad to their patients. Um, we've been testing it now. People are loving it. Patients are understanding. It's helping with retention. These are free gifts to people that are contributors of One Chiropractic. So if you give us $33 a month, you should be getting an email that gives you the ability to download those videos and have those. We are continuing to develop other tangible resources you can use in your practice that are gifts to those that are contributors of One Chiropractic. So if you haven't considered jumping on board, that allows us to do these platforms. It's $33 a month. I'm not a big salesperson, but I, I do want you to understand that we are on a mission to making chiropractic the number one healthcare choice in the world. And we believe this conversation is what's going to make that happen. So any last comments, Dr. Barwell, before we dig into this bad boy? Yeah. Uh, I just was got, I just got some, uh, some emails from some guys that are in Spain and of course, Italy and Spain yeah. are locked down. Dr. Manzini is in Milan and he, he they came and they, they, the police came, shut his office. Not allowed to, to be having this mean you can get fined thousands of dollars for just being on the street. Yeah, so it's the country is shut down, and so one of the chiropractors uh, said, "I'm taking this time to completely revamp my office, uh, get it updated." Well, I thought, what an incredible time! Yeah, and one of the first things I suggest you do is get on one chiropractic and watch the part one series right yeah. now. Yeah. This is the perfect time if you're going to be spending some time just thinking of that opportunity to revamp, then get the latest information, and you're doing it free. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's get the nature online. of our organization. Yeah. Get that information. And when you see what kind of information is put out there, then you join the organization to help support this message that's going out on a broader field. If, if you're sitting around not knowing what to do, go look at it and then have it sent to a, a fellow chiropractor because everybody needs to see this. Uh, what was our, our statistics on that first series? Yeah, so we ended with about 1,400 people that jumped on the series and our, our view rate was above 70 percent and our finish rate meaning people completing the videos was 52 percent which is unheard of in, in that world which just means one we delivered it in a format that people are willing to spend time to watch which was <clears throat> the whole intent behind the short clips every day um, but secondly that the material just kept people's interest they you know the previous video led them to wanting to watch the next one and and so it was a great compliment to our speakers um, and the people that we had in the conversation and more importantly the topic so yeah, we're and we expect to blow that out of the water with this second series because um, we've got you know just as great speakers and and we're going to be digging in on a higher level. So yeah, it's been incredible. Super. All right. Well, with that, we're going to end this session. We're going to jump in with Dr. Barwell tomorrow, and then uh, we're going to enjoy the journey. So thank you again for being a part of part two of this series, and we love and appreciate you. It's going to be a fun journey. God bless your day. Great stuff.